today as hopeful as ever that the United States of America will endure, that it will prevail, that the dream of our founders will live on in our time. I want to thank all the speakers and performers today for reminding us through song and through words just what it is that we love about America. Thank, thank you, America. America. Can you feel it? Can't you just touch it? The feeling of optimism and hope, of renewed friendship and partnership with America that's traveling through the Grand Place in Brussels, up to the bustling port in Antwerp, and through the hills of the Ardennes, that our world is better today than it was yesterday, and that it will be better still tomorrow. Hi, my name is Ambassador Howard Gutman, and I'm proud to be representing the United States of America in the Kingdom of Belgium to represent a country I have long loved, in a country I'm quickly growing to love, on behalf of a president in whom I believe to my core, and at, at a time when we have the opportunity truly to work together to build a safer and more prosperous planet. Although I've just arrived, it's clear that Belgians and Americans well understand that this time we have to get it right. And we have to get it right together that the challenges that we face that unite us are so far greater than any differences that might threaten to divide us, that our past as dear allies through two world wars and the Cold War is indeed prologue, that we can no longer afford to borrow heavily to pay for a fossil fuel addiction that undermines our joint national security and our planet, that we can no longer afford a global economic recovery premised on anything less than real international cooperation, transparency, and lasting meaningful reform. That we must stand together as partners, along with the citizens of the world, in securing a safer and more prosperous future for our children. And that we can never compromise long-term principles for short-term gains. So today, Belgians and Americans focus together on changing climate change before it changes us. And like American troops, Belgian troops work tirelessly in Afghanistan mentoring Afghani forces. And like American F-16s, Belgian F-16s protect Afghani skies, all to bring about a safer and more peaceful future. Belgian and American scientists work closely together on research and development, knowing that such challenges as HIV, AIDS, and cancer care little about borders. And as the world grows smaller and flatter daily, Belgian and US businesses well recognize that we are all one market and one forum for investment. I look forward to enhancing each of these relationships. My first few days in Brussels have been truly wonderful. I've traveled far to get here, but never left home. Whether in ministries or in markets, in a palace or a playground, your diversity, energy, insight, and kindness have met me at the door. In my time here, I plan to visit every city, every village, every commune. For so the more we know about each other, the more we understand that we will always be neighbors. You've welcomed me into your home, and I would love for you to visit mine. Please email me through this website. Send in comments and questions. Sign up for our Facebook and Twitter pages. Participate in my web chats. We have so much to learn from each other. All the very best. <laughs>